Well, if the cost of living is cheap, why wouldn't that mean that they, you could charge more for tickets? You know, maybe that's they've what got say. they've got disposable income. You go, you just go to like a third world country. You guys aren't spending it on fucking food. Why don't you fucking come to watch me? <laughs> now you think uh, <laughs> instead of buying a bag of grain, you think Guy, why don't you? <laughs> you think Guy Fieri ever ever busts out of the Fieri? Fieri, you think he ever busts out of the bathroom of one of the restaurants he's in and just goes rock star dump? <laughs> <laughs> That was, a, that was a real home run wipe I just had. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Rockstar shit. One wipe. <laughs> One wipe challenge. <laughs> One wipe, everyone knows. Dave Portnoy <laughs> looking for the best pooper in America. One wipe. the rules. One wipe, everybody knows the rules. <laughs> <laughs> that guy just misses his ass with the toilet paper, and he's like, this is the worst wipe in America. <laughs> Do you think Dave Portnoy is ever having sex with his husband? And he goes, <laughs> <laughs> and he goes one pump, everyone knows the rules. Everyone knows the rules. <laughs> Bop, boom! Boom. Fooey. If you can't come, it would be fun if, if sex was like, we introduced a timed game element to it. You've never done that before? And it was like, you two got five minutes. You've never well, done I that know before? That. I know that, but I mean more so like... You're on a clock. You've never been like, well, I should really get going to work. I need to go. I need to be on the radio <laughs> in less than the amount of time it takes me to bike to the radio station <laughs> without us having sex. But we should probably have sex. But we should probably. I'm fuck. 20. You're 19. We're definitely adults. <laughs> Let's make this decision. And then uh, the 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 PSAs that the FCC demands we play on certain times. We'll just have to wait. They're just not gonna play. <laughs> I'm getting my dick wet. I'm getting. I'm dipping it in the. I'm dipping my whip. Those two frat guys who are talking about IU basketball from four to five. They're, they're gonna, gonna have to chat gonna, a little extra. They're gonna have to burn some time. They better hope that that Dave Matthews Band song they play as an outro <laughs> is long enough to just keep playing. Yeah. Don't play the radio edit. Yeah. <laughs> play the album cut. When, when you when you start queuing in shots 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 shot, shots shot, you better shots. have a I Love College by Ather Asher Roth <laughs> <laughs> ready to go. How'd that song go? I'm not red. I'm not there. I'm you're, having you're sex. Not... I'm having sex. Excuse me, sex. I just run it. Sorry, college radio listeners. I was having sex, and you just hear a loud cheer from throughout Woo! the town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dip yeah. that wick. Go for it, pal. Come. Come. I already did. I already did. You can tell because I have Woo! way less enthusiasm for my <laughs> DJing breaks. Yeah. Did you do? Uh, how How's your uh, song? How's your no nut November going? You coming? I've been nutting. You've been nutting? So not well. <laughs> it's, I tell you what, it's... There nothing. is nothing in that closet, you yeah. hound. Uh, my No Nut November uh, is going great. No pistachios? But my homemade Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> We've had better months in the homemade Snickers factory. Is that what you call your dumps? A rock star butt. <laughs> Fun size butt. <laughs> Fun size poop. Fun size poop. <laughs> You got a king size Oh, shit. boy. <laughs> that, that was a share size poop. I'm giving out share. That's what they call the big bags of peanut m and Oh, I think share. <laughs> I was like, she is tall, but that's... What a weird reference. <laughs> She's tall. She's a tall drinker. sunny size and share size. <laughs> that is funny. The candy company should do that. They should be like, you all know our big Partner share size. Partner up with share. But how about our sunny size? That's what we call fun size, because that guy was short. That guy was small. He was short. He was a short little boy. That's funny. It's like this, like, share. I don't find share that attractive or whatever, but I get, I get that people I do now. It. Not yeah. back in the day, but uh, these days. But it's funny that people in the 60s were like, the most beautiful woman. Share. And here's her husband, a three foot two guy with a bowl cut. <laughs> <laughs> Who he's a singer. You're like, oh, well, that makes sense. A beautiful voice. No, he's like a goofy singer. He's like weird. He's like weird Al. It's like <laughs> kind of a tiny Tim type guy. Like he guy. might do like uh, tiny bubbles <laughs> or like itsy bit. You know what I mean? He's itsy not... bitsy spider. No, it, the, I was thinking the the teeny weeny yellow polka dot. Mm, teeny bikini. weeny yellow polka dot bikini. And you're on the Ed Sullivan show. <laughs> <laughs> Entertainment. Uh... The sixties were a better time. They were. A beautiful time for, for music. <laughs> beautiful time for music, arts. I just I was listening to some Elvis. 
I didn't notice that. And it auto-played to uh, just an advertisement for, to get people to come on the 2010 Elvis Presley cruise. That's got to be a sad cruise. And the video they used of the 29, the 2009 the 29. Cruise, 29. <laughs> it's before Elvis existed. <laughs> Imagine there's a 2029 Elvis cruise. Oh, boy. <laughs> Who is going on that other than me to do a vice piece? <laughs> the 2029 Elvis fan cruise. And it's just people who are like, yeah, my great great grandmother was a fan. My great and I great, owe it to her memory. To my come. great great grandmother uh, gave him a handy. Gave him a handy. Give I could come. Handy, I could come. <laughs> If you give me a hand, you yeah, come. I think Elvis was in on the joke. <laughs> There's no way he was like, no, this looks good. I'll have the big old hair, and I'll just kind of always, always be a little scared. I'm come always <laughs> kind of spooked. I'm cold. <laughs> I'm a shivery boy. I'm a cold like, Turn boy. Turn up the AC. Elvis needs to perform. Oh, yeah. A comfortable <laughs> 34 degrees. I only record in December. The Heartbreak Hotel needs a better blanket. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's lonely. Graceland, more like Iceland. Iceland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. Or Greenland. Even better. Because everybody knows Greenland's ice. It's ice. And Iceland is it's green. tropical. It's tropical. <laughs> it's like Hawaii. Hey, Jamaica should just make an island where they're like, New Iceland. <laughs> Jamaica is New Iceland. <laughs> New Iceland. Let's rename it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they need is two white guys bossing them around. <laughs> yeah, well, and maybe if they manage their economy you better, we wouldn't have to step in. Have entire country as a joke? No. No. <laughs> and we smoke a lot of weed. You know, Jamaica, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Did you break wind? No, you know? my dog's got a farting problems. It's very gross. It smells really bad. It's very bad. What's going on in there, shit? <laughs> <laughs> Don't lick me while your you're gonna, fart you're is... You're going to carry around shit in your stomach. you got to keep that back door <laughs> locked, pal. <laughs> I think you got some escaped cargo. Am I allowed to get my That's dog... what I'm going to start calling farts. Yeah. Escaped cargo. We've lost some inventory. <laughs> That's what it's called when you shard a little bit. You let a little poop out. You go, up, oh, lost some oh, inventory. Oh, boy. <laughs> Price of doing business. Forgot to carry the one. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, Leakage. Oh, man, that was rank. It's still kind of there, yeah, it's, too. It's wild. Often. In the, it's you should like take that. I've never smelled days. a... Uh, it's been a while since I yeah. smelled a fart, and I was like, that needs medical attention. Oh, yeah. No, it's pretty wild. <laughs> Last night, she farted and then went into the other. She likes to fart and then leave. <laughs> That's her move. Uh... But she farted on the couch and then went to the other room, and I and I was I was legitimately looking for poop. I was like, "She shit." There's no way this is just air. There's no way. There's that's... no way air has lingering abilities like this. This has been t- way too long. Yeah. I got the AC running. This should have been filtered out by like now. If you sprayed Febreze and then there were little beads all over your couch, <laughs> you're like, "Wait a sec." Hold on. There's no way this is air. Yeah. No, that was bad. You should take that. That dog to see a doctor and not, take, not a vet I'm gonna take you know, that that needs, I don't know, you take it to a real doctor a gastroenterologist <laughs> that dog needs to be examined my dog's farts smell too bad well too bad no <laughs> <laughs> sassy veteran my dog's this is the test you call up and you go my dog's farting and it's a problem and then they go do you, do you generally do you think farts are funny? <laughs> and then you go, yeah. And they go, okay, well, we'll check it out. <laughs> if you would have said no, then we would have just been like, ma'am, animals fart. <laughs> Quit being such a yuppie bitch. <laughs> Your dog's allowed to toot every once in a while. But if are you're they... someone who's like, no, I love that she farts. It's just a bit much. <laughs> it's a bit much, if you ask me. Yeah. I think Overkill. it's gone too far. It's like an Aziz Ansari joke. <laughs> we get it. You farted. We, we get it. Grapefruit. <laughs> what does that mean? This is thing about 50 Cent and grapefruit. What's, his, what's 50 Cent and grapefruit? 50 Cent ordered a grapefruit juice. At a, this is, oh, this is, I have heard this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
and he was confused that it wasn't. I'm just going to start doing Aziz bits now <laughs> you know, from funny. 10 years ago. I completely forgot it was an Aziz bit, and I was like, no, tell the anecdote. <laughs> tell this anecdote. Tell your story about 50 Cent and Grapefruit. <laughs> yeah, tell it. Oh. What's Aziz doing now? Uh, getting laid. Did you see that thing that uh, some Atlanta writer leaked, or not leaked, but like put out? This thing when they first started writing Atlanta, that was... He lost a little inventory. No, he lost... Hey, everybody, I'm the writer for Atlanta. I pooped my pants. <laughs> I thought I'd sign up for Twitter just to let Twitter, y'all know. But it's now. So it says, Elon Musk's big old butt, and then at a writer from Atlanta. Yeah. And it's verified. And it's verified, and he pooped his pants. Yeah. But now everyone's just like, I heard Elon Musk pooped his pants. I heard Elon Musk is pooping. And then Donald Glover's <laughs> like, no, it was someone in my office. I had to wipe. I had to do the one wipe challenge. The one wipe challenge. <laughs> Donald Glover, one wipe challenge. <laughs> Every once in a while, the mailman walks by. Hey, <laughs> anything good for me? That's the ad break. Better not be any bills in there. <laughs> Using the porch stuff sports. <laughs> That's what I like to tell my mailman. Better not be any bills. Hey, if there's any bills, you give them to them. And you point to it at your neighbor. Point to your neighbor. Yeah, give them all my bills to that, that person. That's a good joke. That's a good bit. That is a very good bit. That's a good bit. <laughs> hey, if there's any bills, put them over there. Give them to Kevin. And he's like, Who's Kevin? And I'm like, you read the fucking name. You fucking know who Kevin is, he's you like, no, I piece of numbers. shit. Yeah, right. You like, go, you don't really? look at their fucking names. Really? That's what, what, zip, what are zip codes for? <laughs> How much is a stamp Sir, now? Sir, it's against the law to detain a postal employee. <laughs> How much is a stamp these days? Can I buy them from you? They put them up? Yeah, you got any in your pocket? Did you peel one off? What if you did? That could be a side hustle. <laughs> I assume you start every day at the post office. <laughs> buy a sheet. <laughs> Why don't you steal stamps? Yeah. And resell them on the side. Sell them on the side. On the streets. No, it would be a good thing. Is you, you, you just hang out and you go... Hey, if you need to, did you see those papers? You just looking at someone's house? You need those papers to go anywhere? God, it happened again. Did you fart him? That's bad, man. Hey, man, we're all just living life. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those were me. I think they're how all is, you. How is this in that uh, Elvis Presley and Ed Sullivan? And the audience really is going crazy. Oh, yeah, they love it. They like, it's really is quite crazy. Like the, the. Because he's so sexy. Yeah, but like the energy of people screaming is weird. Well, like you can tell the audience has to catch their breath a lot to continue screaming. <laughs> it's just like not a thing that I've ever, ever seen a crowd do. <laughs> Let's all take a break. They're all like, ah, ah, <laughs> ah, ah, <laughs> which it's like you got to imagine if you're some guy who's like, oh, my wife and I got tickets. To the, I'm on a date to the Ed Sullivan taping. Yeah. But God, we shouldn't have eaten all the bean dinner. I don't know what people ate in the 50s. <laughs> I was going to say Noki, but I don't think people ate Noki in the white men didn't eat no. Noki. They were eating Tibetan uh, dumplings. Yeah, they were eating Tibetan oh, pierogies. Those Tibetan pierogi. Oh, those 1950s for Tibetan pierogies. <laughs> no, but you got an upset stomach. You're sitting there. You're like, wow, I'm on this date. If I fart, she'll know it's me. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Elvis, uh, presenting Elvis, and everyone's like, wow. And you're just like, perfect. But that's right when everyone's catching their breath. <laughs> Some guy just blasted. <laughs> fart. What's the quickest you've ever farted in front of a woman? Immediately? I once was... Has uh, it ever been how you met someone? No, but one time, the, the first time this <laughs> lady you, and I... Were gonna, that would be... What a great meet cute. That would be meet cute. I farted. I farted. <laughs> Who was that? Hi. Hi. <laughs> that was me. Do you like it? No, it's like, you ever see Annie Hall? Yeah. When he's on a date with Diane Keaton, he's like, we should kiss now, because otherwise there'll be all this pressure on the date, and we can just get it over with. Yeah. You're dating someone, you're like, it's on your first date. It's like, I think I should just fart. <laughs> <laughs> and you should let me walk in on you peeing. And then we can, you know what I mean? We'll get all that right out of the <laughs> way. way. There's a onesie in this sushi place <laughs> in the rest in the in the restrooms a onesie. Why don't you leave that unlocked? <laughs> Start peeing. I'll wander in, fart when I fart. see you. Whoa. We'll get it all out at Everything once. Everything out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be perfect. Perfect. No, I've been to two different weddings where the best man speech was like embarrassing. I, I, well, I've been to I guess every wedding I've been to. <laughs> no, there were, I've been to two different ones where the best man speech was like I knew they were meant to be 
Because one time we all, I lived with them there on the couch and they're watching a movie and, and Jason farted. And, and Susie didn't even bat an eye. And that's when I, and I was like, these two are meant to. I've been to two different weddings. Where they just the idea of farting and that being a big deal. It's everyone's family and friends, and they're like, one time he fucking. <laughs> he broke wind. He coughed out of his anus. <laughs> right next to your daughter, Mrs. and Mrs. Montgomery. He sneezed out of his asshole. And that dirty bitch didn't even <laughs> That bat dirty an eye. bitch. That fucking filthy whore. They've been together only a month, and already she's cool with him fucking shitting air. <laughs> shitting in the air. Just pooping clouds. <laughs> Here's your daughter. That would be great. Next time I fart, next time someone farts around me, I'm gonna be like, sick plume, bro. Sick plume? <laughs> What flavor you got? Sick poop plume. Oh, wow. That's dog. Well, that is how you, uh, people, because everybody knows with weed, you can shotgun it through, you shotgun through the exhale. Yeah. But with vaping, completely different chemicals. <laughs> That's why everyone's eating ass now. Yeah, because they're va- va- farting you vape, vape juice. blueberry uh, dream. And I want to get and in that 10 ass. hours later. So 10 hours later. 10 hours? <laughs> Good Lord. Someone's going, mmm, dreamy. <laughs> It's like a blueberry penny. <laughs> I guess, is that the sound of eating ass? <laughs> you know, it would be great if you fart and then you ask someone to wipe you. <laughs> Can you wipe <laughs> to the point of almost uh, death, then smell these farts? That's got to be funny because we're in a room with uh, with cat shit. Yeah, there's literal shit in the room, and I'm like, can I get that as, like, a smelling salt thing? Yeah. <laughs> get this is fucking dog fart smell out of my nose. <laughs> Hand me that cat shit. That's I gotta... need uh, I need something to get this out of my nose. That's got to be a real ego boost for the cat. <laughs> yeah, the cat's, like, <laughs> the cat's like, well, hey, buddy. The cat's like, damn. <laughs> my solid farts. Even the idea of a, a <laughs> smell from that dog is bad. <laughs> Good God Come Almighty! Keep mine in a, in a sandbox. They just keep them. <laughs> Kids playing it. <laughs> yeah, can you play like if you're like you got moving to a new place, you got a big old litter box. Yeah, the nephews are visiting. They start playing around. Okay, I don't think the cat's gone yet. <laughs> <laughs> the cat, the cat ain't pooped in there yet. No, that's clean. That's for you. They got a big one. It's like the like the turtle sandbox yeah. thing. You know, whatever happened to those? You don't see those around anymore. Uh, I think they made enough of them. <laughs> I, think, I think one company printed about 30,000 of those in 1992. And they're like, well, what's next? Well, in 40 years, we'll meet back up. Everybody else shook hands. <laughs> if, in, if in 10 years from now, none of us has a better business idea, we're all going to meet back up. <laughs> make more turtle sandboxes. <laughs> That's probably how that fucking liquid death thing got started. It was a bunch of businessmen where they're like, listen, if none of us are successful 15 years from now, what about edgy water? Edgy water. <laughs> what about a sandwich? And it's like a witch, but they're from uh, like Egypt. That's pretty good. <laughs> sandwich. That's like a... Uh... <laughs> That's like that 90s slur they used to use, but as I was like saying, it's 1700. As I was saying it, I was like, this is... Uh... That's, like, that's how people would be racist against very exotic people in 1600s Salem. Uh, yeah, in Salem, if Salem had brown people. Yeah. <laughs> the Cairo to Salem trading route. Not a big one. No, I mean, what about this? You know, Kaiju? Yeah. What if it's Kaiju, J E W, and yeah. it's Mothra with a yarmulke? I like it. Or it's Godzilla, and he's signing a contract with Kaiju. It's Godzilla, and giving he's giving him fifty-one percent. <laughs> it's Godzilla, and he's breathing fire to light a menorah. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that's better than my controversial. It's one. King Kong, but he's stepping on the glass at a wedding. King Kong, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's King Kong, uh, it's gay. My alarms all just call me gay. <laughs> gay. <laughs> just like, wake up, queer. <laughs> Remember. <laughs> Eric's getting wake up alarms. It's 3.25 p.m. Well, this is when I'd usually wake up. This is when I'd usually start my day. 
Well, I got into a bad habit. Are I there used, day owls? Uh, Is there like one owl who's like, I'm different? I was thinking the other day about that phrase, the early bird gets the worm. What about fucking night crawlers? Boom. <laughs> There's a whole fucking species. They're crawling at night. There's a whole fucking species. That is true. Also, worms, like, do worms sleep? Yeah, what are worms? Worms, like, tried to hide, time to hide. Yeah, it's like, if the early bird gets the worm, then I think, what about the worms that sleep in that are lazy like me? I think that advice is for the birds to begin Mm. with. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, in a way, flavored water is witchcraft. Just like, like, music is witchcraft. Yeah. Makeup. And people yeah. will be like, oh, well, like, uh, singing is witchcraft. Yeah. And, like, uh, boiling Newt's eyes into a cauldron. That's witchcraft. Witch, oh, that's witchcraft. That's, oh, uh, witchy. And, oh, don't do your hair. That's witchcraft. And that's witchcraft. And s- sacrificing virgins <laughs> <laughs> to Witch- Walspurgis. <laughs> witchcraft. <laughs> Suddenly, oh, witchcraft. Oh, what's next? An iPhone filter? What Watch about, out. like, a what about like a who's on first thing where it's, like, witchcraft? And I'm like, witchcraft. Do you want me to make candles? Yes, you can butter? make satanic candles. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're looking for someone who can do witchcraft craft. Martha Stewart. No, here's what you do. It's a who's on first. One guy stutters and the other guy doesn't. Yeah. And then he's like, we need someone to do witchcraft. And he's like, I do witchcraft craft. He's like, no, we don't. We just need witchcraft. He's like... So Wh- no witchcraft, craft, craft, no craft? witchcraft, craft, 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 craft. No, we just need witchcraft, craft. So witchcraft, craft, craft, craft. Witchcraft, craft. You craft, craft, craft. Then the audience has, has a little notepad. And they're going minus two. Okay, right. <laughs> Every time he uh, talks, minus two. Divide by three. <laughs> this joke's gonna be fun when I get my calculator out. Once I get my TI eighty four out of the shop. Yeah, that's a good. Out of the shop. Someone does a joke and it's too complicated, and you go, you go, you heckle. Hey, I need my T-I- T980, TI-80 Texas. I need to talk to TI about this. <laughs> I need the Texas Instruments. Needs to... <laughs> That's funny. It's like Texas Instruments, and they're like, we're Texas Instruments. And like, we do math. Yeah, it's like, what do you mean, like a trombone? No, we're manly. <laughs> <laughs> math. <laughs> math. <laughs> Get all the, that music out of here. The manliest instrument. This math. Is Texas <laughs> Instruments. <laughs> You Texas take your instruments trombone over to Nevada. Yeah, Texas instruments. Sissy. What is that like a tuba? Because everything's bigger in Texas. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Guitar on. Oh, okay. Guitar on. <laughs> is that like a big upright bass? <laughs> that would be cool. What is that? A bassoon? Yeah. Is a bassoon big even? Yes, but also it's like it's its own thing. So that's like asking like. Is a is a giraffe big? <laughs> it's like, well, yeah, but I don't. Just, compared to uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Everything that's not a giraffe. Yeah. That's pretty big, I guess. Yeah. I mean, bassoon is long. Okay. Yeah, it is big because it needs to get a bassy sound. But ba ba. I'm just stuttering, and I was like, I'll, I'll lean into this one. Ba 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 da da da. Just what? take your bus soon off oh, the sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> Those Play giraffes. Tunes theme song in hell. <laughs> I don't know why they're in hell. It just I need to rhyme. It's got to rhyme. Yeah. <clears throat> When's the last time you uh went to hell? <laughs> went to hell. You in Beckley, West Virginia? I was there Thursday. No, it was a great time. That was Beckley. That was a great time. We drove nine hours round trip. Great. It's always weird when a place is really far away and they're like, come, do you want to come do this one nighter? And you're like, well, last time I was there, I was on tour in that area. So I would need like way more money to cover gas. And yeah. then they go, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go, oh, okay, oh, damn, okay. Uh... So I guess I'm doing nine hours round trip <laughs> to do 40 minutes for, I want to say, 12 people. <laughs> <laughs> How much money you make? Money. Oh, I made very good money. Very good? Yeah, yeah. I'm always cagey with the money. What do you think? The IRS is listening? No, yeah. Do you think no, I'm an IRS plant? Maybe? No, I made very good money, and then I doubled that money in merch sales. I thought you went to the casino afterwards. That would have been cool, too. <laughs> I only did that once because I got paid 20 bucks in Detroit, and I was like, this is insulting. Yeah. And there's a casino nearby. Yeah. And I was like, it was back when I was like broke, too, so I was like, this should have been sixty dollars. Like it's not even like it's like it's not even like damn. I should be making two fifty a night. This should have been at least thirty five dollars. Yeah, like I was literally like, damn, they gave me half of what I earned. <laughs> and I had twenty. I was like, I don't even want it. I'm gonna go to this casino 
And if I can't make more, I'm going to lose. Killing myself. <laughs> I was under the 20, and I was like, I saw a blackjack table, because that's my game. And I yeah. go, perfect. And they go, $20 a hand. And I go, oh, uh, do they have cheaper ones? Mm-hmm. And the guy went, are you playing or no? And I went, okay. He bullied you. <laughs> they did have cheaper tables. <laughs> you just, totally You got did. bullied. I found out later they definitely <laughs> have cheaper tables. <laughs> Yeah, there's no casino that only has twenty dollar a hand Black tables. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then I just lost it, and then I was like, "Well, now I feel double ripped off." How bad did you lose? Was it a bad beat? No, it was pretty good. Did the house win? House, well, house <laughs> always wins. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think House ever said that on the show? Probably. House always wins. House always wins, baby. It's lupus. Even Hugh Laurie. Even Hugh Laurie. Hugh Laurie. I think mm-hmm. in, in Britain, are they like, you call him Hugh Truck? <laughs> <laughs> is that a lorry or a lift? It's is a lo- lorry is a bus, I think. <laughs> so, and also that doesn't make sense. In Britain, they do they call him by the American term? But well, we the... call him by the British term. <laughs> in America, oh, Hugh Laurie, you're going to America. What are you going to change your name to? Hugh Bus? That'd be a good name for, like, a, a rapper, like a rapper lady who's into being thick and having, like, a big ass. Yeah, Hugh Bust. She's like, I'm Stacy Laurie. Because <laughs> I'm built like a truck. I'm built like a fucking bus. You keep saying truck. I'm pretty sure it's bus. I don't know which it is. Isn't a bus called a oh, biggin? <laughs> oh, get on, the big, get on the big go, man. <laughs> no, I think a lorry is... Uh, How do you even spell lorry? L-O-R-R-Y. Someone reads books. <laughs> Someone reads more than they hear. <laughs> reads a, more than they hear. I'm a hear guy. A lorry <laughs> is a heavy motor vehicle for transporting goods or troops. Or troops. So, a truck. A truck. Okay. I was wrong. I'll admit when I'm wrong. A bus is a... <clears throat> I like that it's it's goods or troops. Or goods? Troops are rarely because good. Because troops are not good. <laughs> Who's all involved in that? Anti the troops. Is Britain involved in Ukraine yet? They sending any troops over? Everyone is. Did Liz Truss send any troops over during Liz her? Liz Truss, I think, is playing rhythm guitar for uh, Liam Gallagher's post Oasis <laughs> band. <laughs> <laughs> she replaced. Oh Liam man, we guy. never touched upon the death of Gallagher. Yeah. How we you should. F- we should not only touch on it. We should smash it. We with should a smash hammer. it with a, smash his gravestone with a big old hammer. I bet that will happen. Oh yeah. Because someone's gonna, gonna be done smash it. A fan it. or a misguided guy who doesn't like Gallagher. Yeah. No. Someone is going to smash a watermelon on top of his tombstone. That would be cool. Yeah. I will. I'm gonna go do it. <laughs> someone. You know. Really, you should. <laughs> <laughs> like, cause someone will. It's like how Jim Morrison people leave like whiskey bottles. Yeah. You know, people are just gonna be leaving watermelons yeah. all over Gallagher's grave. People kiss. Uh, I think it's Baudelaire's grave. Yeah. They kiss it. With yeah. lipstick? I think that's I think it's Oscar Wilde, but yes. Oscar Wilde, right, about. it is Oscar Wilde. Yeah. Right. It's in the same cemetery as Jim Morrison's. That's why I thought yeah. of it. Uh, but people kiss it, and it's like, at this point, you got to assume some of those people are just lonely incels who are like, <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like I'm kissing I'm the a... girl who kissed it before. Oh. Ooh. Also, it's funny that Oscar Wilde's like, finally I can be, like, gay, and everyone, men and women are kissing him against his consent. <laughs> Get away from me. Ew. Get away from me, 18-year-old college girl who leads likes poems. Gross. <laughs> and then I stroll up, 18, clean shaven, give it a little kiss. And then, uh, Classic kiss sound. It was weird because when I kissed the grave, uh, a little bit of the dirt lifted. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a funny sketch. Be funny. Kiss Oscar Wilde's thing and then just right where his dick would be and Earth just pops up a smidge. No, it's a bunch. It's like it's like a, a mom and her two sisters. And, yeah. And, and, and the all, dad. And they're, no, just, not the dad, just the son. Them and they're like okay. 14-year-old son. Yeah. And it's uh, and the sisters are range. You know, one of them's like a 40-year-old, beautiful older woman. So they have a 40-year-old daughter and a 14-year-old son. Oh, no, it's the mom and her two sisters. Oh, okay. It's like a okay. sister's weekend. We're bringing my son. Yeah. And To go kiss gravestones. One of the sisters is hot. She's like a 22. I'm the hot younger She's sister. She's sexy. And then you've got like a 45-year-old classy sister. Yeah. And then the other lady. And all three of them kiss nothing. And then this uh, 14-year-old boy in, a, in a, one of those football jerseys that's cropped. Yes. 
<laughs> he comes over on my. He catches a football, sweaty. Yeah. And he goes, oh, I'll give it a peck. <laughs> and I was like, Zachary Blue. Zachary. The metro track is fucked up now. <laughs> That destroyed the ancient sewers of Paris. <laughs> Metro doesn't run over there. I think it does. I think it does. When I was 18, I was there with my parents, and they were like, uh, they were annoying me because I was jet lagged and just a piece of shit. Yeah. So then I was like, man, I'm just going to walk away from them in this three mile long cemetery in Paris at a time when none of us have international cell phones. <laughs> Did you get lost? None of us speak uh, it was French. Yeah. Uh, and I don't even have a room key. <laughs> you don't speak Francois? Uh, how do you say no? Zebon? <laughs> Zambonet? How, how do you say just this in French? Jesus. Jesus? <laughs> well, all I know is all I retain from Arabic is how to say I speak Arabic. That's good. No wonder they hate us. <laughs> I go over there and they go, la, 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 and I go, and I have to call them a local Arabia. And they go, oh, Maraba. And they start saying a bunch of shit. And then I'm just like, I speak Arabic. <laughs> I just keep yelling, I speak Arabic at a guy trying to talk to me. Uh. No, they passed me in that class because everyone else was ROTC kids. Yeah. And then the professors would always be Middle Eastern people who were like, oh, I don't like these guys. <laughs> I don't like the. This seems like it's going in a weird direction. Yeah. They're like, yeah, maybe a teacher could show us uh, the layout of your uh, family's home. <laughs> Do you have any big dogs? What province are you from? <laughs> Describe when your neighbors. <laughs> are you? Uh, how do your neighbors feel about America? <laughs> <laughs> Some ROTC kids getting a bad grade in Arabic, and you're just like, I'll fucking bomb your ass. <laughs> you give me six months, you're it's over. It's over. I'll find out where your family lives, motherfucker. You better give me a passing grade in A two o one. You made it all the way to 201 and you don't know anything? I four semesters of Arabic and it was one of those things where like a weekend I was like, God damn it. This joke sucks. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> my idea of being a, a cultural correspondent in war-torn Middle East is not going to happen. Let's no. be honest. <laughs> cultural correspondent. Well, in my eyes, because like 2008. And, I was, and, and your was, red eyes. Ver no, before I smoked weed. In the early days of Vice. Yeah. Back when it was VBS. Yes. Uh, and Skateboards. They, yeah. And then they'd be like, we And said, you said, I'm going to go to Iraq. Yeah, because they'd do stuff. And film skateboards. Kind of. <laughs> that was not skateboards, but I was like, yeah, I'll just be one of those guys who like covers important cultural things, like a metal band in Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> you know, really important global stuff people in yeah. the world need to know about. Stuff the world needs to hear. Like, hey, this guy, uh, he stitches the Dead Kennedys logo on the inside of his hijab. Cool. His hijab. He's breaking a lot of them. He's got a lot going on here. <laughs> He's... And I'm not just, I'm saying he. So, <laughs> well, it's 2008. I don't it's know 2008. To, yeah, you're allowed to do that. I don't that. know how to do gender stuff. I have some mayo. I have some. <laughs> that Mexican mayonnaise? Yeah. Mayo. Um, Mexican mayonnaise sounds like an awesome thing. <laughs> like, like, if someone was like, it's a sandwich with Mexican mayonnaise, I'd be like, hell yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I don't know what the hell that means. They use real sugar in the Coke. <laughs> <laughs> and they drink that and they make the mayonnaise. And they make. <laughs> I would love Mexican man. There's a lot of them. Mexicans are good. Mex yeah. For being a word that people historically have been like, oh, Mexicans. It's you put like, it in front of any adjective? Any noun. Whatever. It's a Mexican door. <laughs> You're like, damn. Ooh. Ole. <laughs> Better than a French door, I'll tell you that yeah. much. <laughs> a French door? What is that? You don't even have to kick it in. It opens for you. What is a French door? Fucking cowards. When it's just like blinds? Uh, I think it's when they open like, like a double door and they open oh, okay. like that. I think that's what a French door is. Ooh. And they're glass. What? They're glass. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's a weird part of the window. <laughs> I'm gonna go let the dog back in. <laughs> don't let you that dog... You think about what you said. <laughs> you think about what you said. Don't let that fucking dog fart in here again. I can't. I literally gagged the last time. 
<laughs> you would not believe it, man. I, I I think that dog's been eating too much fucking Mexican mayonnaise or something because something's clearly gotten to its tummy. I mean, you eat enough Mexican mayonnaise, you're gonna let out some uh, Mexican dog farts. Mexican dog farts. I did find something that doesn't sound yeah. very good. I, as I was coming back, I was in my mind going, Mexican dog food. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> I've been giving her some Mexican dog food. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound good. Mexican dog food? Horror! <laughs> 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 sounds like Elvis all of a sudden, real scared. <laughs> Elvis got his vibe was he just heard like a, a big basset hound <laughs> wake up <laughs> you know, like hey he saw that while hearing his mom fuck through a window <laughs> he's like what if I combine these two what if I do all this I'm Elvis I'm horny I'm horny <laughs> I'm Elvis and I'm horny I'm Elvis and I'm horny <laughs> that's my new special he yeah, actually was kind of the opposite I'm kind of like Elvis and that I'm a, I'm doing dirty stuff up on the stage. Yeah. But it's like, nah, you're the Memphis Mafia. I don't know what that means. Those were Elvis's pals. He called them the Memphis Mafia. Yeah. And I watched this documentary where it was just them doing a roundtable chat in the 80s. That's not a documentary. It's an interview. You're right. It was on, <laughs> no, it was cut in footage. <laughs> But they're all... I was watching this documentary. It's called the Joe Rogan Experience. <laughs> yeah, they would cut in footage and stuff. Uh, I was watching this. I was watching this documentary about Joe it's List. Monday Night Football. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they, uh, they would like. They were. It was clear that they were like, oh, Elvis was too dumb and like not horny. Yeah. So all these girls would just get all worked up. Yeah. And then our rooms right down the hall, and they all high five, <laughs> get all red in the cheeks. <laughs> it's clear that all of Elvis's like hometown friends were like, this oh, guy's gay. That weird incel guy became like, or not incel, like voluntary celibate guy. Vol cell. He became a. Uh, that's what that's what incels call themselves when they want to feel better about themselves. I'm a vol cell. It's true. That's what they do. No, they go. I'm a priest. It's like just become a priest like in the old days. Yeah, really. It's like, hey man, if you're gonna be uh, a closeted homosexual, why not? I uh, know, I love God. It's I not love. That I can't. <laughs> I don't think about how much I want to fuck Jesus. No, it's people who want to fuck and they can't. Like, I'm never. I'm never gonna get laid. I'm never getting pussy. <laughs> just a bunch of depressed, mm. <laughs> like pimple faced fourteen year olds going into the priesthood. I'm. I'm never gonna get pussy. I'm never getting laid. Might as well make a little money off it. This is a good shit for God. Might as well make a little money off this shit if I'm never going to get any money. pussy. Maybe you get a free place to live. Yeah, but have you ever been in a rectory? Yeah, it's You really want to live in a rectory? It's not great. <laughs> no, you, a lot of, well, I don't know. No. I don't know how uh, Catholic, I don't know how Catholicism works. I remember when I saw... No, like, Christ, normal, normal Christian, normal Christian, they have, like, a parish house where it's just, like, a house that you live in for free. Yeah, sometimes. That was how my that's church. That's similar to a rectory. That was how my church worked. No, it was just a house. Yeah, but it's not like if you got a different priest, they'd be like, "All right, now it's that priest's house." Yes, they would. Oh, they would. <laughs> but then where would the priest go live? Wherever church they were going to work. But at. Where was that house? Close to the church. Yeah, that's just the rectory. Well, I think we're talking about the same thing. You're just using Catholicism. I'm using the words that Pope John. You're Paul just said. using the Catholic words, and I'm using uh, Protestant words. Yeah, you're using that SNL sketch where there it's like an ad for yes. church. Yes. You have seen that one? <laughs> no, they do like it's like an ad for church. They're like, come back to church. <laughs> it's for like it's for like going back home to Christmas and then yeah. going to church with your family. Yeah. And they're like, hey, you can even, they're like, stay after mass and watch the priest walk to his house. <laughs> you can even see inside for a sec. It's just one chair and table in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, we had a priest in my church who got booted out when I was a teenager. Oh, he had a lady boy. Oh, really? He had like, uh, he was always funneling. I think he was embezzling money to some lady. Do you think? And they were like, well, either you two are hooking up or you're just doing weird financial crimes. <laughs> just, I don't no know reason. which one it is. Either way, you're out. Do you think, uh, like, in the wake of all that child abuse stuff, the Catholic Church was like, should we start calling up all those guys that we fired for being straight? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe get them back into the fold. That would be nice. <laughs> 
We could use a scandal that makes us... The Catholic <laughs> Church. You can fuck nuns now. <laughs> nuns are horny. It's <laughs> a priest like... <laughs> You can fuck nuns. Yeah, why can't you fuck a nun as a Is priest? Is married to Jesus and he'll get fucking all jealous and shit? He's really controlling. <laughs> Are you fucking my wife? You work for me. <laughs> you work, You fuck my wife? You selling my body out there. You fuck my Sunday. wife? You fuck my wives? You fuck my wife? Did you fuck my wife? Pr- Remember so, that movie? No. Raging Bull? I've never seen Raging Bull. you never seen Raging Bull? No. Really? I haven't seen a lot it's of the surprising. classic, like, uh, men movies. It's like, not, uh, it's about the, it's about the fragility of manhood. Yeah, but that's what manhood, that's about. That's about. <laughs> that's about. That's about. That's about it. That guy, Rambo, he's out there, he's like, I want to be strong, but I hurt like everybody else. On the inside. You're doing like an Arnold voice. <laughs> I'm being Sylvester Stallone in the woods. <laughs> now you're just doing I'm no just voice at all. Now you're just enough. speaking loudly. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just hoping I talk fast enough. <laughs> you're just speaking loud and fast. It's not an impression of anyone. I was doing an impression of my girlfriend's cousin yesterday. Yeah. And she was like, that's bad. And I was like, you do it. And she was like, I can't. And I was like, well, then that means this is the best impression. Like, no one's doing impressions of your cousin. <laughs> so this is the best impression of your cousin. <laughs> Uh, They're not pop punk. That was rude of me. That was very rude. I can't believe you said that, to be honest. You think there's ever a guy who's like, I'm, I'm going to make hardcore punk. And they're like, this is good pop punk. And he's like, fuck you guys. Fuck you. <laughs> this shit's hardcore. That's my favorite way to describe a gay guy. Got a little sugar in his tank. Oh, I wasn't doing a gay guy. I wasn't doing a gay guy either. I was just, I, that's not what I heard from I just, the guy who looked through your window last night. <laughs> Some peeping Tom told me. <laughs> Some peeping Tom. Some guy who's a peeping Tom's also a he's like He's a gossip. <laughs> <laughs> he's a gossipy peeping Tom. I love doing two things. Illegally and secretly voyeuristically watching people. Is it illegal to stare through someone's window? I think so. But you know what is bullshit? I think it's also illegal to like... Stare out your window. <laughs> to, no, to like, <laughs> like, am I a peeping Tom if I look out my like window and someone walks nude, by? Just like in the front window, like waving your dick around? Yeah. It is technically illegal. Yeah, but it's like, well, no, don't look at my fucking house. Yeah, what are you fucking looking at? You peeping Tom? Not everyone is blind, money. Uh, what do you think I am, That's rich? Funny the I don't even have money for clothes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny that the government's like, everyone needs blinds. <laughs> <laughs> you can't not have blinds. Yeah. You gotta you know, have the blinds. That's probably the blind people. That was big blinds. blinds. But the people who make window accoutrement. That was big blind. They went for and sure. they were like, they made it illegal to show. They they were the ones who made that. Yeah. They're Before like, hey, that, everyone was cool with just. Don't look in w- someone's window. That's yeah. their property. Everyone was cool with just mashing your cock against your fucking big giant French door. Yeah. Well, there, there was the law that if it was a, if it was a screen window, you still had to have the storm window closed. <laughs> you screen to the outside. Now you're outside. Now you're outside. Because if you were to fart or out of your as dick. Someone would know. <laughs> if you were to fart out of your dick, everyone would know. <laughs> everyone would know. <laughs> you're, you have sex with a lady and you're like, you're like how am I going to come? And then just nothing happens and you go, ah, I get false alarm. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever come and it felt like you came and then you realize like, oh, I didn't actually come at all. Nothing came out. That's kind of what I was describing. But I was asking asking if it has ever happened. I mean, I masturbated prepubescently, if that's what you're (laughs) wondering. I definitely had moments where I was like, yeah, I came. And it's just blood because I've been beating my my, my 11-year-old penis for four hours. (laughs) You ever get your cock a little bloody? No. From self-pleasure? No, not from self-pleasure. From, uh, uh, from like... Self-pain? Well, yeah, I'll wrap it in, in a rosary, barbed wire rosary <laughs> bead. <laughs> Pray. I'll pull it for every time I've made it. Yeah. <laughs> An indiscretion. Ah! Ah! So you had any fun lately? Oh, yeah. I went to Beckley. <laughs> <laughs> Anything besides Beckley? Oh, well, once you got Beckley. <laughs> I did. Someone at work said something. Have you ever experienced someone saying something that's so mean and, like, just out of left field that it's just hysterical? What they say? <laughs> they were looking at this woman, and they look, and they turn around, and they're like, hey, look at, look at table seven. I'm like, yeah. And he's like, look at that bitch. She looks like she got broken bones and saggy tits. <laughs> <laughs> That 
that's poetic. There's like so many like nuanced like Jiminy Christmas. I could not stop laughing. It's just like <laughs> it's like, like she's a... injured, the broken bones like isn't her fault. But then it's like also her, just naturally. That's <laughs> really her tits are saggy. <laughs> I might be able to forgive that if she wasn't so fucking busted up. Yeah, she's busted. <laughs> oh my god, this woman's been in a horrific car accident. Yeah, and her nose is like a little bit. <laughs> Look at her fucking big. tits. <laughs> her nose is too big for her face. Her ears stick out too far. <laughs> this woman lost her arm in a shark attack and flat abs. <laughs> <laughs> and no badonka donk. And she's a bitch. <laughs> Hey, look at that bitch. <laughs> that would be She's great. Injured. <laughs> hey. EM, you're an EMT and you're walking up to a car and you're like, oh, look at that bitch. <laughs> it's just how I talk. It's not like, a, I'm not calling her a bitch. <laughs> it's just how, that's just how I fuck was. Fuck you. You're just holding the jaws of life. Just, fuck you, man. Man, fuck you. This is so hard. Actions or words, you pick. <laughs> <laughs> Broken bones and saggy tits. Broken bones and saggy tits. <laughs> she looks like. Well, like she looks, looks like. like. And you know what? Looking at her, I was like, you know what? She does kind of look. That her bones look. Her bones do look weird. <laughs> I've never looked at someone before and been like, you know what? You're right. Those are weird bones. Look, look that lady got that bitch got broken bones and saggy tits, and then it cuts over to a woman in like a full body cast, <laughs> except for her tits. Except for her tits, and then her four children around who are all wearing shirts that say, like, "We've been breastfed." <laughs> no formula for me. No for anti. They're all anti-formula protests. <laughs> That would be appropriate and if she was being mean. <laughs> and she was being if mean. she was like, hey, fuck you. You look like you had formula. <laughs> then you'd be like, hey, that bitch has broken. You got broken bones and saggy tits. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, that, is that the setup, you think, to that table? Sure. Okay. 